Our Contessa Brewer joins us now with a very special guest. Hey, Contessa. Hey there, Carl. Not all of that $23 billion is expected through the sports books, but an awful lot is, and an increasing number from last year. With me now is the CEO of BetMGM, Adam Greenblatt. By the way, we're both New Yorkers. We, we, li we live blocks away from each other, but we meet up here in Las Vegas. When we look at uh, Super Bowl, it's an exciting time to be here, and I want to get to it. But first, there's news this morning about BetMGM's new partnership with X. Tell there me is. about it. There is. So we're very excited about the news this morning. Uh, so we've announced that BetMGM is going to be the exclusive live sports betting, uh, live sports provider, so provider of live odds to X, formerly Twitter. Uh, are you concerned at all about your brand being linked to X and the increasing amount of controversy or accusations about misinformation that are aimed at the platform? We, it's a really important question. We, our priority is ensuring that our brand is where our players are. And so we are, we're following that lead. Our players and the conversation around live sports lives on Twitter. And as a result, that's, that's where we are going to insert our brand. How much of what you're doing with X feeds into a broader strategy around reaching people who might not know the BetMGM brand? I mean, for instance, you're buying your first Super Bowl ad this year. Is this a part of a larger uh, strategy? Well, absolutely. 2024 is an investment year for, for BetMGM. Uh, you will see more of us more often uh, we are going to elevate the brand, invest in the brand. Uh, so this is this uh, work that we're going to be doing with X uh, is consistent with that. We've we've also announced last year our partnership with Marriott, where they have a, a database of, in, as part of the Bonvoy program, 186 million people. That will allow BetMGM to reach a the biggest possible audience in 24. And you had BetMGM and the MGM rewards system as well. Why hasn't that done more for you on market share? I mean, you have bricks and mortar rewards for your players where DraftKings and FanDuel are at a, you would think a rewards disadvantage and yet BetMGM is losing market share, not only in sports betting, but in iGaming too, where you were the national leader. In 2023, we made some commitments to the street and that the primary commitment was we were going to show EBITDA profitability, and we did that. We did that for the three, uh, from the second quarter consistently. Now, with that kind of uh, investment approach, there come trade-offs, because what some of our competitors did was uh, keep their foot on the gas. Yeah. Um, what we've shown is that, excuse me, go on. Well, I'm just, yeah, I did ask MGM CEO Bill Hornbuckle this very question about, look, if you're profitable, then does market share matter? And here's what he told me. Let me play it. Market share does matter. The difference between 21 and 18, okay, it's relevant positioning. But what, what matters is ultimately when you go for profit, that you have a big enough piece of the pie to do exactly that. So between sports and obviously iGaming, um, we've told the street come 2026, we'd be at about a half a billion dollars in cash flow. Um, we want to grow our share back. We want to particularly grow it back in iGaming where we think MGM's brands resonate. Okay, so, so how do you do that? How do you get back to number one in iGaming and maybe third or make even more increasing inroads in sports betting? Well, 2024 is about three things. It's investment in best product. We're working really hard, have an exciting roadmap of new things in the, air, in the area of both sports and iGaming. Uh, we're integrating a business called Angstrom, which is a specialist sports pricing business that will allow us, frankly, to offer every conceivable bet type in a game. We're also investing in something uh, on the iGaming side in global jackpots, more marketing, unique and exclusive content. Yeah. So we have an exciting pipeline of games, but that's one part of it. The other part of it is how we reach the maximum audience. And so you're going to, the Super Bowl ad is a, is a, is a perfect uh, element, example of what we're talking about. It's elevating the brand, reaching as many players as possible through increased investment. And the last element is Omnichannel.